Hi everyone, this is my next review. Right now I'm wearing the Mimosa Overbust Corset made by Versatile Corsets. So here's the front, the side, the back, and the other side. For the length and fit of this corset, the center front here is 13 and a half inches, and then from the peak of the bust going over the cup and then down to the bottom of the corset, it's 15 and a half inches. This is not a long line corset. My iliac crest is right there, so the corset is actually cut to go above there. For the actual silhouette of this, I would say it's more of a modern slim silhouette. However, right now I'm wearing the standard size corset, which basically means that I had gave them measurements of my waist, my cup size, and my hips here. Um, if you were to go fully custom, then I'm sure you could get more of a reduction and you could probably get a different shape out of it. I also decided to have turquoise and everything. Um, they give you like tons of different um, colors and fabrics to choose from, but I just wanted one solid color. And for those of you who are curious of what this looks like underneath clothing, here's the same mimosa corset under one of my fitted tops. So here's the front, side, back, and other side. So you can see that there are some visible lines in here. Um, the seams are slightly visible, but they're certainly less visible than if you were to have the decorative outer or external boning channels. Um, you can see some of the seam along the bust line, and in the back, there is a bit of muffin top there. If I loosened up the corset, there would probably be less of that. But you can see that this corset is certainly a little more inconspicuous um, than traditional overbust corsets underneath clothing because it has a separate cups to resemble a bra. So here's a corset laying flat, and for the materials, there is the fashion fabric, which is just a solid um, turquoise satin, that's the color that I had chose for this, and it is interfaced with a, a sturdy woven interfacing. Um, so if you consider interfacing another layer, then that's the second layer in there. And then on the inside, it is lined in coutille, and let me give you a close this. So it is um, American coutille, also known as domestic coutille, so the weaves are a little bit wider. Um, it's not as stiff as British or German coutille, however I do consider it superior to twill. So it is really nice that they actually did use some form of coutille on the inside here. For the construction of this, I consider this to be made from a nine panel pattern. So you can see here one, two, three, four, five, six, and then seven, eight, nine. Those three form the cup right there. And for the actual assembly, what they did was actually really clever. Instead of making the fashion fabric and then the lining and, and sewing them together, they actually assembled the fashion fabric and the lining together, um, each panel at a time sewing them together. The panels are assembled using a lock stitch, but in between the um, coutille liner and the satin outer layer, there is actually internal um, boning channels made from casings of more coutille like this. It's casings that are sandwiched in between the two layers so that you can get um, basically two bones on each seam there. And the boning channels were also formed as each panel was assembled. So you can see on the inside here, you can see the stitching of the boning channels and the bones are sandwiched inside, they're not internal channels. However, you don't see the stitching on the outside right there. It's just a really smooth exterior. You can pretty clearly see the waist tape on the inside here, one inch wide, and it's in between the layers, sandwiched, so you can't feel it um, on the outside or the inside, and um, it's secured down at the boning channels. Here's a close-up of the binding. It's made from bias strips of the same turquoise satin that the rest of the corset is made out of, so it's, uh, it's a nice match. And it's machine stitched on the outside and on the inside. Also, there are four garter tabs on each side for a total of eight. There's an unboned modesty panel at the back here attached to one side, although you can remove it with uh, just by ripping out that line of stitching right there and it won't compromise the integrity of the rest of the corset. Um, it is seven inches wide, so about five and a half inches of usable space, and it's just made out of um, the two layers of satin here. And also on the front, there is a modesty placket underneath the knob side of the bust, also unboned, just made out of the same um, fashion fabric. 
The busk at the front is 12 inches long. It's a standard flexible busk that's a half inch wide on each side and it has six brackets. There's also a stabilizing um, flat bone on either side of the busk right there just to contribute to a little bit more sturdiness. It is a quarter inch or possibly even three eighths of an inch wide there. So um, it actually is quite sturdy. Turning the corset to the inside here so you can see the boning channels. There are 26 bones total in this corset, 13 on each side. It's double boned on all the seams here, so 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. Those are all quarter inch wide spiral steel bones. There's a quarter inch wide flat steel bone on um, each side of the grommets and another flat steel bone by the busk in the front here. If you want to take the underwire as another bone, then I guess technically there's 28 bones total. <laughs> Here's a close-up of the grommets. There are 26 two-part size double zero grommets, so 13 on each side. They have a pretty wide lip around them for a double zero style grommet. These look to be very similar to the um, style of grommets that I have seen in my Totally Wasted corset and also my Morgana Femme Couture corset. So it seems that a lot of corset makers prefer this style of grommet and I can understand why because they are awesome. They are all rolled really nicely. There are no splits on the back of these. There's no tearing away, no stretching of the fabric around there. Um, it's secured in really well. For the laces, these aren't actually the ones that came with the corset. These are just some extra black um, cotton flat laces that I had before. These were the laces that actually came with the corset. So you can see that it's pretty thin, about um, an eighth of an inch wide, and it's a round braided cord nylon. Very, very slippery though. That was my main bug about it um, because I found it difficult to get a good cinch and I found it difficult to um, have my bow stay in place without um, slipping out. So. So, I mean, this did glide through the the grommets really nicely. However, um, it was just too frustrating to have my corset loosening all the time, so I just switched it out, and it's not that expensive to do so. The mimosa corset varies in price depending on the fabric you want, the sort of embellishments, and whether you want standard or custom size. For a standard size with just a, a plain fabric like this one, it starts at $400, although there is a 25% off sale happening right now. And if you want to go custom, that's another $90. And it's time for the bus test. This course it gets 4 out of 4 on the bus test. I felt very safe when I was doing all 4 parts of it and um, the fact that the cup comes up and over top of the bus helps kind of hold it in better. When I was bending over it was not the most flattering because um, the top of the, the cup here was sort of pushing into my breast and causing like a another one to form on top of there. So it's not flattering, but I did not pop out, which was the important part. Um, I also felt more secure than usual um, compared to some other overbust corsets because of the separate cups here, um, the busk in the middle is able to sit right against my sternum and sort of hold it in even more than usual. And so the, the individual encapsulations um, kind of added a little bit more security, I think. And this concludes the review for the Mimosa Overbest Corset made by Versatile Corsets. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, then please click the like button. It helps support the channel. If you have any comments or questions, leave them down below. And I will see you in a few days with the next video. Bye.